And now from lovely Three Forks, Montana, Todd the Vinyl Junkie, with a face for radio and a voice for silent movies. Now your host, the Vinyl Junkie himself, Todd. All right, we're going to clean our first record on our new Laura Craft professional record cleaner. I guess first we'll uh, put the spin move on it, apply our vinyl zyme gold. The brush we're using is a stasis brush, the V2 version with the longer bristles on it, with the longer bristles. I'm going to slam it in the reverse, clean the others. Many feel that this is the best way to scrub and clean a record because the stylus pushes the gunk, dirt, junk, whatever down into the groove and this is kind of going the reverse and uh, it'll pop it out. With vinyl zyme, we, I like to let it sit for a little bit. They recommend 30 seconds, we recommend 30 seconds, minute, doesn't matter, this is a new record so it probably doesn't really need to sit much at all. So we're gonna turn everything on, the motor, the arm, the pump, and here we go. We are we're off and running. This is just a great system. This is the best record cleaning system I've ever seen. The other ones do a good job. This does a great job. I forgot to show you something here, and I actually forgot to do it because, well, this is my one of my first times using this, but this mat got a little moisture on it, but that mat is the clean side clean record. And the best part of it all is it plays great. We put it in a clean new sleeve. We put it in a clean new sleeve and it's like taking a bath, right? Putting on some clean clothes and we're done. In bringing in Laura Craft, the reason we decided to do that was because we were in England visiting SME and we're going to show you now some of the video of what sold me on this great record cleaning machine. So it's a wet cleaning process system, meaning we're using fluid in a brush and then we've got a vacuum source. So this basically is, is a vacuum pump. Um, what's different about this from ultrasonics? Well, there's lots of differences. So we know there's the ultrasonic camp and we know that there's the, the, the wet process cleaning system. So there's two camps going on worldwide. And we're not trying to convert everyone, but it's two types. So for the wet process cleaning machine of the professional um, record cleaner by Lollycraft, what it does, we say in our advert, right, it gets into the groove. So that's exactly what it does, it gets into the groove. And it literally cleans inside the groove of every single record. So the thread that's on the end of the vacuum arm, some people think that that thread is right in each groove and cleaning it out, well it isn't. Um, now, nor do we want it to be. So it isn't because if we go in every groove and do an LP, it takes 30 minutes to clean one side, right. on average. So the thread is just a barrier between the nozzle of the vacuum arm and the surface of the record, it's a barrier. So that barrier being whatever, whatever thickness it is. So, in fact, that thickness is critical for the vacuum source because in this cleaning process, in the vacuum system through the nozzle, we create a vortex. It's a vacuum vortex. So I've tried to depict it in a drawer in here, just like this. So if that's, if that's the record groove, basically our vacuum source is sucking from the bottom of the record and it's going through both channels all the way to the top. So it's a mini, it's a mini vortex going on there. It's a high pressure vacuum vortex. So <clears throat> there is no ultrasonic cleaning machine that can get to the bottom of a groove. Um, there isn't. So what I know about um, ultrasonic cleaners from the aerospace industry, and that's a lot because it's used widely, it does not get or cannot get deep in. So um, the vortex can, 
providing you've got a vacuum source that's capable of doing it. And this machine has it. The vacuum pump is not just any old vacuum pump. It's a vacuum pump made by a company called Charles Austin from England. They're long established. If you check them out, some of their moon landing or some of the moon landings, Charles Austin pumps from the vacuum source taking moon dust to bring back down to Earth. So this is a company that's um, the similar age to SME and their just speciality is vacuum pumps. This vacuum pump is an off-the-shelf pump made for the medical equipment industry that's been paired with our drive system and the vacuum system. So it is absolutely um, brilliant for the job, utterly reliable. We didn't introduce the Charles Austin vacuum pump to Lodicraft. Lodicraft did many years ago. So this has got many, many years of being um, tested. So a key ingredient is removing any contamination from vinyl record. So these records we've got here, um, they've come from charity shops, they're dirty, we haven't done anything to them, we haven't put anything on, we haven't done anything, we just... So we can see all that contamination there. That's what we can see with our eyes. Got it. Yeah, okay. we can see that with our eyes. There's 10 times worse that we can't see with our eyes. You should clean records in reverse mode. So we've got it in reverse. And his 30 was, which we've proven to have a huge amount of merit, is 30 was, if this was a, if this was a turntable and this was a tone arm, that's the way we're playing. So we're playing just like this. So clockwise rotation and the stylus which is engaging in the groove is driving any contamination in this way. So if you clean it in the reverse way, you get a more thorough, deeper cleansing, cleaning arrangement. Okay. So that's what Percy Wilson, the inventor or creator of, of um, this wet process cleaning machine, established. We've proven that to be correct. So it works just as well in forward. Um, so a heavily contaminated record, um, I'd always do it in reverse. If it's slightly contaminated, forward's absolutely fine. But the functionality is there. There's not many record cleaning machines in forward and reverse cleaning based on, based on this theory. So we've proven it to be correct. So <clears throat> it's a vacuum source. So that's the sound of the vacuum system. Very and we're on and we're on a rackety bench. Yeah, really quiet. Yeah, and and to take it off this bench is even better. So unfortunately, we're just on this bench. Find a better spot. So yeah, so that's that's the noise level. It's um, it emits. So pump off for a moment. Um, in the cleaning process, the vacuum arm will go across the record. So it's driven by a gearbox arrangement. It's geared to go across the record in about one minute and 20 seconds. Um, the vacuum source, the vortex, will go inside every single groove. Um, the thread, as a reminder, is just a barrier between the nozzle and the record surface. So, rotation, fluid. So, and so it runs perpendicular then to the record, or the, the string? It's, be a barrier. Yes, and it, it's fault, but it's attached. You'll see it now. It's attached to the nozzle from a vacuum source, and it'll go across the record, transverse across the record, from the outside to the inside. So where's the fluid going on? So applying it, um, demonstrating purposely. We can be a little bit, um, we can be a little bit splashy with fluid. It doesn't matter. It's designed to have a wet, clean surface. We stay away from the the label and I'm just agitating. So again to demonstrate the brush you can be as heavy or as light as you want to be. The brush is harmless because no harm to the vinyl proven and we're just agitating and spreading. It has a high torque motor so I can apply pressure so you can see from the brush there the pressure I'm putting the motor is not stalling. So deliberately to be high torque for applying pressure depending on how dirty or how contaminated the record is. Usually in the outer edges a bit more because some people are a bit clumsy and you get thumbprints or fingerprints across the outer edges. So you can agitate from the outside and we're just spreading the fluid. So um, already I've done far too much agitating because the fluid is detaching the contamination from the vinyl surface. So pump on, this time arm on, so it's vacuum arm. So the vacuum arm's engaged we apply it on and when the gearbox kicks in it's going to drive from the outside to the inside. So there's the vacuum change pitch now. 
and we're sucking into every groove. Hello everybody, we're very pleased with this video on the Lorecrop PRC6i. They also make a PRC4i uh, record cleaner. They are excellent record cleaners. We're glad to be able to sell them. Uh, Laura Croft has been making record cleaners since 1990. Uh, they've been recently purchased by SME and are, have been redesigned, cabinets upgraded. Really, uh, they're they're a, a premium record cleaning machine, and we're uh, we're very proud to be selling them in the United States. If you're interested, please come to our website. If you have questions, call us, email us, do whatever it takes. These are great machines, and if you want clean records, this is the way to go. Don't forget to visit the TTVJ Audio website and sign up for our newsletter. Keep up to date with new products, sales, and loaner programs. Thanks for watching.